Okay, Omnisias thinks. Hey there, do you think Blizzard will clean up all the bots around in WoW? I don't know. I don't know because bots are an arms race. That said, whenever you logged into World of Warcraft, see what's obviously a bot. Yeah. Which, you know, I actually haven't seen much of in Shadowlands, but maybe that speaks to me raid logging more than anything else. But I mm. I remember seeing a few of them pretty obviously in uh, Nazjatar. 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 <laughs> it's Nazjatar. That's Nash. how you pronounce yeah. that. It's not Nazjatar. What are you doing? <laughs> what was yeah. that? That was so weird. But I remember seeing them there. I don't know. I don't know how they're not caught. Because whenever mm. Blizzard posts about their anti-bot efforts, they, they have often big numbers. Yeah. Lots of bans. Well, that's uh that's um, that's maybe a maybe a thought for whatever investigations we do into the economy or into botting or into boosting or anything, because I mean bots are there for the economy element of the game. The bots aren't having fun, which means it's all inherently tied together. Very so true. Is. And so it is. What's very interesting to me is that the level fifty eight boost in TBC mm. apparently is uh, having a big impact on botting because that just means you can get a bot ready character to farm primals and stuff yep, like that real quick whereas you couldn't do that in uh, in classic classic yep and uh, it just does make you wonder B blizzard are probably furious that all this stuff's going on but I, I i wonder if they feel powerless because like i haven't played classic TBC unfortunately much um at, at all actually no literally not at all <laughs> for a second I, I was like wait did i no i didn't log in and make a character um mm -hmm. but people tell me we got you know we got lots of messages and stuff and uh you know, I've, I've seen pillars of that community yep. uh, talk about uh, issues with bots and it seems pretty bad yeah no i watched uh i think it was it was a will e video yeah it was and it was like here's the problem bot again he literally like i think it was like a thursday morning 10 a.m or something was just going around uh was it a couple a couple areas in zanger marsh and uh, hfe going yeah like look all of these characters are boosted all of them are level 58 boosted characters they're not wearing reasonable gear they're farming these mobs you can see that there's no like there's no way regular players can get any of this stuff this mark is controlled by bots mm. it was a uh, it was i think one example he gave was Tibu's blazing longsword on his server was selling for eight gold or something. When that still to this day sells for thousands on live, like just because of botting problems. So, well, I think it still does, but the problems were so much worse there. The problems of botting are just you, you, you just have bots Wait. massively devaluing this item. Tibu, Tibu's blazing longsword. Tibu, how much? I think uh, in his, I think there's there's two values, right? So one value he, uh, it was. Eight gold on the <laughs> auction house, and then later he's he scanned he scanned it again. It was like sixteen gold or something like that. Whoa! Yep. What? Yep. Oh, okay. That's we. I mean, I can understand why value wise, like in a world where transmog doesn't exist, Tibus wouldn't yeah. be at. But still, what the? Oh yeah. wow. I mean, there it is for <laughs> there it is on. Uh, well, that's John or you, which is the first one Orbos Exchange gave me, but it's uh up there for 243k yeah the bots can farm tbs from pickpocket boxes that's what it was they're in uh drd i think pickboxing pick pickpocketing and opening the boxes and getting it so fun 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 stuff but it was it's remarkably cheap but just because the bots are devaluing it because it's you know free free labor free labor just generating stuff um ah, it's bad that's stuff Five times. The yeah, eighty. Well, I was two hundred eighty-three. I love that. I can't remember. I'll actually. I can check the video. I think sure. That would make sense. Although I yeah, don't want to wow. take away too far from what we we're talking about. Yeah. Um. That's just interesting. So, Omnisia to, to, to mm -hmm. my response. I mean, hopefully, but evidently, the progress has not been where it, it should be because. Yeah. If people are talking about, oh, hey, botting's really an issue these days. That means it's got a bit out of hand. There's always going to be a low level of botting. Yeah, but oh, well, you got some for us? Yeah, I'm just gonna go through and see. But it was just a massive list of massive list of level 58 rogues in BRD. Massive amount of 58 was it mages in uh, Sangramarsh doing stuff? 
doing obviously botting behavior because you can see them. They've got insane gear. They've got insanely specific talents for farming. Or maybe just insanely weird. What do you call it? Insanely weird. Uh... No, I don't see I don't see the number anywhere in the video, sadly. But yeah, nuts. Crazy stuff. Yeah, I, I wonder if... See, this is really tricky because there's a very technical approach where you're yeah. looking for the technical fingerprints. Yep. Uh, and, you know, looking for those clues, telltale clues of botting. But another way to do that is a more big data approach on the numbers yeah. you very solidly have, which, as you said, yeah, like looking at talent builds and <laughs> just seeing, oh, an extremely high percentage of botters are using this, using things yeah. like this. But I suppose that could be useful for a while and the botters would change their talent builds to, you know, avoid detection and stuff. But I just wonder, you know, if... There's, you know, using the likes of Warden, which is the security stuff that is installed on your computer if you play World of Warcraft. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's their security system for anti-botting and anti-cheat stuff. Hmm. I wonder what the, the techniques that involve taking a big data approach to the in-game telemetry. Yeah. Aside from Warden, I wonder what that would yield. But yeah, for now, it just seems like it is an issue. Yeah, it's insane. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, you have, to, you have to face the facts because... Obviously, there's a <laughs> there's one one thing to say, which is every bot's a sub. You know, every bot's a sub fee. Is yeah. it worth it? Is it worth it? If you've got a thousand bots, is it worth ten thousand? Uh, and if those bots boost, oh yes, yeah. you know, a boost is worth a hell of a lot more. Like I remember, you know, in Shadow, was it Shadowlands Alpha or was it BFA Alpha? But mm. no, it was Shadowlands because we're crummy time. Mm. Me and you, we are power leveling characters to fifty Cost in grid. no time. Yep, zoom. Like six hours, and, yep. and you know, while we would look at Mephisto, be faster than us, and be like, ah, but it's Mephisto, we can't beat him. <laughs> yeah, um, very different for TBC leveling, and yeah, you can see how it's like. Not only are these bots paying subs, these bots are also buying boosts. I mean, shit. <laughs> pretty nice little business to have run for a few months i mean the, yeah like the bots the bots are giving them more money than i am like that's it and we do have from ace of hearts who said shortly after the release of cataclysm there was a spike in in-game gold inflation correlated directly with the number of worgen players on a server for more info <laughs> search wow worgen inflation i f i i don't trust you i don't trust is you. this a sex thing <laughs> Because, uh, <laughs> I mean, the inflation kink exists. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, no, like, I, you know, yes. Yeah. What is the, v okay, nope. I'll, I'll yep. just some of the URLs include, include of course, <laughs> Fur Affinity. Obviously, Fur Affinity would be the, the, the top one. Um, DeviantArt, obviously. Um, SexHD.org. <laughs> no, don't get us, don't get us demonetized or banned here now. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Uh, that's good. it you know what good job i'm gonna works. say can't fool us but that was really good bait yeah that was, that was good bait i i appreciate it <laughs> yeah, i'm actually really annoyed because i was i was like whoa what the fuck is this inflation i was like before i had finished reading it i was like huh i wonder was there an interesting source of gold that was from gilness or something i must really take a look into it never mind never mind i'm not gonna fucking look into it now am i nope Fuck's that sake. involves a pipe an orifice and an air compressor. <laughs> air? I don't know. Mm. I suppose, yeah, the that, that could, it could be before. Argon, you know, a nice or neutral, or maybe some helium if we want to make it all comedic, yeah. Maybe something. Yeah. Thanks, Ace of Hearts, yeah, rascal. 